community group, kind of, we kind of think of it as an extension of your friends and family um, who want to help one another in their community. And you, um, you basically earn a time credit or time dollar for every hour that you spend um, helping someone else. Um, and that credit uh, or time dollar can be used to request skills or services from somebody else. So it doesn't have to be the person that you helped. It's just um, somewhere within that network of uh, people that are providing services in the time bank. And so we, um, we keep track of these skills and services through a very simple uh, um, interface called Community Weaver, and that's just the, the when you signed up and made your profile. It's kind of like an online little classified section that's only visible to the people that are have been um, uh, accepted as a member. And, uh, and then to be accepted as a member, we also just ask a list of about six questions, just asking, um, you know, just making sure that you're an all right kind of person, you know, <laughs> and, that, and, that you, um, and that you kind of uh, have the same sort of interest in, in helping the, the community as, as the others that are involved. So that's just kind of the basic um, overview of what we're doing. And we have uh, a lot of different um, projects going on right now. We have the Altadena Urban Farmers Market that usually happens um, once, about once a month. And uh, that's really interesting because it's one of the, uh, it is the first market mm -hmm. that um, a portion of the vendors accept time dollars. Um, and so, uh, so we're really excited about that. And we have, um, the reskilling workshops that are happening here. Um, and do you want to talk a little bit more about sure. that? Sure. And so um, every every Sunday, um, or almost every Sunday except for holidays, mm -hmm. we'll be doing some sort of workshop here in this space. Mm -hmm. And we're partnering with the Echo Park Time Bank, mm -hmm. with Armory Center for the Arts, mm -hmm. and with the Northeast LA Transition Group mm -hmm. on reskilling workshops. So basically, these workshops will cover um, a few of the of the basic skills that have been forgotten that have helped to promote you know healthier, more productive, more resilient communities. Mm -hmm. Really basic things we're gonna do. Last week we did a a clean a how to make your own cleaners and toiletries workshop with just basic household and garden items. Uh, next week we'll be doing seed starting and an introduction to seeds. Um, we're talking about doing a pasta making workshop, a pasta making pasta. workshop, and a bread making workshop if mm -hmm. we can get um, a space with a larger kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's all of these things that, mm -hmm. um, and they're all going to be member taught mm -hmm. and open to mm -hmm. members of the community. Mm -hmm. um, so everything will be free and we're, mm -hmm. we're just sharing our knowledge mm -hmm. and boosting our communities mm -hmm. and our neighborhoods resist resilience. Mm -hmm. And members are encouraged to um, for instance, if there's something that you would like to teach, or uh, mm -hmm. some kind of you know mm -hmm. skill that you think is uh, important to to share, and where you mm -hmm. know members are encouraged to to just propose an idea to mm -hmm. host a, a class here. Okay. Um, I mean, I noticed that a lot of the stuff which happens at the urban farmers market, a lot of like a lot of people are growing your own food and stuff. Is that a kind of community plot where you can? I mean, like if you want to do your own stuff or compost or... We've been, we've been talking about mm -hmm. that a lot, yeah. Yeah, we'd like to. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I think, um, you know, there's a lot of helping people, like, if you don't have your own mm -hmm. yard, mm -hmm. go into someone else's yard and helping them garden. Mm -hmm. So you're using your skills mm -hmm. and, then, and then sharing the produce. Mm -hmm. An idea that I had yesterday is, I, I, I have no more space in my, I have a tiny little garden, mm -hmm. no more space for any other fruit trees or anything, mm -hmm. but I really love an apple tree. So I was mm -hmm. thinking, I'd buy an apple tree if someone would like to plant okay. it on their ground and I would okay. help take care of it. Okay. And we would both share the apples or something like that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, the great thing about um, mm -hmm. the Time Bank is that there's all these, it's, it's a great introduction to your neighbors and mm -hmm. a great introduction to people mm -hmm. that have similar, um, views about community building. So, um, and the structure is such that it's, um, it can be, you can be creative about it and use it to, um, you know, just to 
boost the community in the way that you'd like to see it grow and flourish. So a lot of our members are really interested in food access and in sustainability and neighborhood resilience. So that's why a lot of our projects tend to go in that direction. And there's the Altadena Community Garden also, right? Right. Where that's, people can actually rent a little plot of land. Right. That's that's a separate organization, mm -hmm. but right. um, and that's in Altadena, and it's a really successful and thriving, com um, yeah, community garden. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's an option if you. But if you if, again, if you are interested, you know, if you want a plot of land, I would you know maybe contact a member, post something on the community mm -hmm. paper that says. Um, I would love to garden. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an unused piece of land mm -hmm. on your property, let me know. And, and mm -hmm. yeah, I think pretty pretty much for sure someone would someone would jump, jump on that. In yeah. fact, I think the last uh, potluck that we had, or David mm -hmm. and Karen hosted, I think a few people had mentioned if somebody wants to come over and put a garden in my yard. Yeah. Um, so I think that. You definitely get some responses, yeah. Because, I mean, especially interested in composting, and I know you can get these compost bins for an apartment, but the thing is, I mean, what do you do with the compost after that? I mean, it's, I mean if you have your own mm -hmm. I mean, yard, it sort of makes sense because, I mean, that goes becomes fertilizer, but if you don't have space, I mean, first there's not enough space to put a compost bin inside a small apartment, and then once it turns into compost, I mean, what do you do with it? Yeah, that's a great idea. And actually, um, the Casita, we want actually the Casita to be mm -hmm. kind of like a neighborhood hub mm -hmm. for things like that, you know, mm -hmm. for group composting mm -hmm. and for, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, maybe like a tool library or something. Again, just a shared resource mm -hmm. space. And it's mm -hmm. this common, um, you know, it's a common shared mm -hmm. space that we can all, you know, come together and, mm -hmm. and do things like, you know, just borrow a saw if you need it, or or drop off your compo your coffee grounds for the compost, or, or eggshells, or whatever you you know um, you want to do. And there's yeah, there's all sorts of things. So if you want to do something like that, that's a great idea. Jump in and let's do it. You know, let's set up two compost bins right here, and like let's just start composting if that's convenient for you. You know. Um, I mean, I mean. I mean, is, is there kind of a rough description of the people who are in the time bank right now? I mean, I mean, what are they looking for? I mean, the numbers. I mean, I mean, the, I, mean I, I know the neighborhood where they live, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, I mean, what kind of people are these? I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, there's. I would say um, I haven't looked lately, but we've had a surge of new membership, especially uh, this year. I mm -hmm. think, uh, and a lot of that's generated from the the farmers market. A lot of people mm -hmm. hearing about it that way. So I think we're up to like. 260 mm -hmm. around there, but not all of those are really active. Mm -hmm. um, I I would say um, maybe two thirds are mm -hmm. are pretty active mm -hmm. uh, members, and uh, and of course you know there's a lot of of new memberships, uh, so they're just mm -hmm. kind of um, educating themselves about it and figuring mm -hmm. how how to insert themselves in the timing. But um, I think that we have. Uh, a variety of a nice variety of people we definitely have a lot of people with uh, food and gardening interests I think that were um, I think maybe uh, every time bank has their own like little niche and that definitely seems to be like our heavy interest and that's probably because of the community um, a lot of, a lot more people have fruit trees and uh, space to garden or, or want to garden um, so we, but we have, uh, you know, people that are offering skills like um, car mechanic, bicycle mechanic, massage mm -hmm. therapist, um, uh, grant writing, mm -hmm. um, pet uh, sitting and childcare yeah. is a good one. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. we have the Montessori mm -hmm. school on board, right? So oh. is that this Montessori school? Oh well, the yeah, there care. is. There, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, for. Again, um, it's all it's a it's a limited amount, so yeah. because they have to ha you know cater to their their students that mm -hmm. pay also. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's um, there's childcare and there's also um, through the Montessori school in a limited amount, mm -hmm. and then there's also people that are you know babysitting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have several yoga.